Hey everybody, my name is Kidlad404 and welcome back to my YouTube channel all about the Nintendo Wii U and today I'm going to be starting a Let's Play of Zombie U. Now you may be asking me, hey Kidlad, why are you starting a Let's Play so late of Zombie U? You know, it's already been two months, this is a release date title and it's been two months since the game released and it's kind of so late and all that stuff, so why are you starting your Zombie U Let's Play right now? Well, like I said before, I'm kind of bored of the Nintendo Wii U and new games are going to be coming this February, which is in one month, and so I was like, you know, heck, why not you know in one month I'm gonna do some let's plays of the games that I have so you guys can kind of you know understand what this channel is about and get to know me a little bit more and when I get those newer games you know I'm kind of I'm kind of gonna be in the rhythm of like doing these let's plays and you know informational tutorial videos and all this stuff that I promised you I kind of dropped the ball I'm sorry you know uh, with these games I said I'm gonna be doing like full coverage and all that stuff so this is kind of like my I guess makeup sort of thing for you guys. I'm going to be doing Let's Plays so you can get some content for me. And, and don't worry, these Let's Plays are not going to be boring. I'm going to be speeding it up, you know, with the really nice techniques of Sony Vegas and all that stuff. So you don't have to watch and sit around and watch the boring stuff. I'm going to just quickly zip through this Let's Play and hopefully give you guys a good experience, a good time here on YouTube. So let's go. Oh, before we begin, I just want to say you should go to Options if you ever played this game. You should go to Controller Options. And you should go down and change your sensitivity all the way to 100%. The sensitivity in this game is really, really, really low. Uh, it's, it's re I don't know, maybe on Black Ops 2 if you play that game, it's like on a 10 or something like that. So I always recommend to put it at 100 and keep the aiming help as, yeah, it's kind of like aim assist. And also, if you go to, to the display and sound settings, this game is also really, 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 really dark. So, I recommend to put the brightness at 100%. And if it still seems a little dark to you, I also recommend to go into your TV settings and uh, raise the brightness even well from there. So, enough with this technical stuff. Let's go to the campaign and begin with Zombie U. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, you know, I kind of skipped a little bit of the introduction just, you know, so we can get by this faster. And one thing I also forgot to mention is if you go into the options, I also recommend you enable subtitles because it makes reading a lot easier. Sometimes, you know, the characters in the game, they don't really talk too clearly or you can't really hear them all that well. So, obviously, subtitles are a lot easier so you can, you know, help understand what's going on in the game. But the gist of it is that there's like this big blight that has come over London and there's a bunch of zombies now. All these guys got infected and there's like this one survivor, this is the main dude, and it's your job to survive pretty much throughout the entire game. The special note about Zombie U is that if your character dies, uh, that character turns into a zombie and you respawn as a different, completely different character and you have to survive the game with that character. You can actually kill your previous character who is a zombie and you get all their stuff and all that crazy stuff. You, you might see it if I die and I suck, but um, <laughs> let's already get into the gameplay now, shall we? So there's this, there's this prepper dude and we gotta follow his directions. He's gonna help us survive, so. behind us Keep going. and I'm actually really really glad that I turned up the brightness ah. ooh see it's kinda of pretty dark in this area let's turn on my flashlight Oh, oh, oh. Alright, let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pretty scary game. I mean, it's scary in the fact that, like, you're always not... You're not, like, a super superhuman Superman or anything like that. You don't get, like, super crazy guns that, you know, have infinite ammo and all that stuff. You're always, like, economizing and scavenging on, you know, weapons and equipment and all that stuff. You're never really, like, feeling super power in the game. Wakey, 
Alexander Roberts. Always prepared. On the workbench. I don't know where I don't know I know it's supposed to be the prepper pad, but Oh oh it's over here. So that's what it looks like, the prepper pad. Pick it up. Now, unfortunately, there's a little caveat when uh, doing this Let's Play. It's the fact that I can't actually show you guys right now the actual Wii U gamepad screen. Unfortunately, you know, there's no, like, capture card out there available. Like, some indie third-party dude hasn't made a capture card yet, so I just can't show it to you guys, unfortunately. And it's too hard to record off-screen, so I just decided not to. So I'm going to be doing my best to kind of dictate what's going on in the Wii U gamepad. It's not really that important. It's just really just menu stuff and map stuff, so... So basically I gotta activate this generator, which I know is over here, because it is shown on the map where to go. Activate. Now you can see what you're doing. Yep. Go back to the main room and look at the monitors. You see? The last person I tried to help went outside without the pad. And look how that ended. But there is something else Turn into a zombie. That backpack is a bob. Bug out bag. See? You need it and what's inside. Alright. Okay, so we gotta find that bob. Or that the last infected that was now might be a infected good time and died. Alright, so he's in this room. On, there he is. Isn't that sad? Alright, so we killed the last survivor. We got a cricket bat. That's the first default weapon. Got a backpack. Alright, so basically on the Wii U gamepad, all you do really is just equip to certain hotkeys the weapons that you have, so... All I did was equip a pistol, which I can tap this hotkey, and we're good. So I got a pistol, and then I can switch to the cricket bat. That's how it works. More than 20 hours awake, and your decision making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. Head back to the main room and take another look at the monitors. They're hooked into CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. But the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. Basically, these CCTV, CCTV camera things are just like, uh, like in a Zelda game or something like that. If you find the map, it kind of reveals everything that is in that general location. So, it's a good idea to hack those CCTV monitors so the map kind of gets generated on your Wii U gamepad so you know where you're going. It's just like a little map helper thing. It's really useful though, so I'll try to like search around actively and find them out so I can, you know, show you guys. Okay, let's go. Key card required. Key card to get out. There's bound to be one somewhere at that station. Use your pad's environmental scanner to search the area. Perimeter looks calm, but now. Now, use your pad to scan the area and see what you can loot. Never look at gift doors in the mouth. Okay, so I see a zombie down there. Can we go in here? Open. 
And you can loot these zombies. Sometimes they have like nice items that you can pick up. Use your scanner. So basically you can also use like uh you know your gamepad as a scanner. It's not that big a deal. And the slow combat begins of trying to kill zombies. That's the one kind of bad thing about the gamepad is that killing zombies is really, really slow. So this zombie had a piece of soda. Soda is kind of just like a small heal weapon, but... Okay, so... Key card. You see on the bottom left-hand corner, that's like... Uh, you can see the items that I pick up. So it says right there I got a key card. Okay, so let's go back to that original door that we couldn't open with the key card. Let's use it. This safe house is my handiwork. A long time ago, I teamed up with a bunch of no-hopers called the Ravens of D. I helped them fortify places like this. Because we knew this was coming. Hmm, I think this goes to the same place. John D predicted the plague and the Great Fire of London that stopped it. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime. Even tried to find a cure. The panacea. But it's a myth. I'll get that for you. I've locked the place down for your safety. Another one of those intense long loading times of the game. Honestly, this game was... I, I feel that this game was rushed. It could have been a lot, a lot better. Um, so if there's ever a zombie U2, I'll do it. I'll, I'll buy it. See, that's one of the little CCTV cameras, but we got to find the actual junction monitor. Scan every CCTV junction box you locate so I can hack it and bring those cameras back online. All right. The thing is, I gotta find those junction boxes. Alright, so I'm back, and this is where the first junction box is. You get up, up those stairs, you walk over here, and it's actually right over the fence. If you scan, actually I gotta get a little closer, but you can actually scan it from this distance. There you go. Your smart map's been updated. Without a good map, you're a goner out there. Whoa, 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 you sh- You face down a bloody horde? It's your life! Okay, I won't, dude. Relax. The junction box is right there, just so you guys understand. It's like right there. All I gotta do is scan it. Okay. There's a single zombie there. Let's head in here. 
a manhole nearby that's your quickest way back to the safe house. Have a gander. Sometimes retreat is your best option. Alright, so... Open the manhole. Basically, it's just a shortcut back to the safe house. The safe house is like the main central hub of the game. And these levels are like different places that you can go. So if you want to go back to the safe house, all you got to do is take these manholes and you're out of here. Got it. Triangulating. It's inside the supermarket. Be careful. Okie dokie. Use your radar. You have to ping areas manually if you want to know what's lurking in your blind spots. Right, so there's like this button to ping the area. And I think I hear some, or I pinged some zombies just in front of us. Oh, it's actually just the scarecrow. Throwing flares. Now they could come in handy. Bright lights to distract the dimwits. How many zombies are here? There's not a lot of zombies, so... I guess we can take this out manually. It's early in the game. Alright, let's head into some combat. Hold GR to finish him. Who's out of the zombie? <laughs> Good night. Alright, let's speed things up. Alright, anyway, let's continue. Shit, it was rigged to the alarm. Get inside before every blighter from miles around comes running. What? <laughs> oh, that was that's pretty scary. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming they're behind me, so let's get out of here. Yep, they were about. They just got. I just got hit. They were just right behind me. Those poor coppers were probably responding to the supermarket's alarm, but they've got bigger problems now. Okay, so some of these could be zombies, right? You got to ping the area. Find a hammer. You're gonna need to rip the planks off some doors. Found the hammer. While you're there, stock up. If it's not nailed down, loot it. This is really intense. I don't want to die so early. Okay, there's some zombies in here. Oh, there's no zombies in here. Okay, so let's see what we can steal from here. What? There are zombies in here. Alright, so we gotta find what we can loot here. Okay guys, so I basically tried to loot this place like the dude was telling me, but you just get little dumb things like juice, you know, that's not really gonna help you, it only heals you just a tiny bit, so... I'm, I guess I'm just gonna leave this place right now. Ooh, except for the spread upgrade that I almost missed, right? <laughs> so basically there are upgrades in this game and you can upgrade the weapons that you get so the spread upgrade is kinda like it makes your hip fire spread a little smaller when you find the box link the pad up to bring the cameras back online where is that CCTV junction box? There it is. Right there, guys. Good. The CCTV cameras are back online. Every time you scan one of those junction boxes, I'll hack it and update your smart map. Take a look at your pad. 
What can I pick up? Soda? Those things aren't really helpful. Anyway, I got the CCTV junction box. Let's go back. Ah! I hate how the game scares you like that. I legit got scared. <laughs> I guess they're in here right now. Good. Now, find your way back to that shortcut you passed earlier and get your ass back to the safe house in one piece. Alright, Prepper. Stressing me out here. Oh, what? That bloody punk's making enough noise to raise the dead. What the heck? Get out of there! Trying, trying, trying. Take shortcut. Yes. Phew! We made it safe, guys. Phew, I thought we were gonna die there for a sec. <laughs> Alright, I think this is gonna be the last kind of segment we're gonna do. Let's open this box. You can stash your weapons, ammo, and supplies in there. You can't carry everything while you're outside, but a well stocked cache will give you options before you set off. So drop whatever you want in it. Okay, so basically, you have like this stash, this metal container, anything you find out in the world you can save for later. Uh, but for right now, we want to be as powerful as possible, so I'm going to put these energy drinks down, because those are not really too helpful. So, there you go. I'm done with the box. And that's pretty much it. So, for the first episode at least, so thanks for watching. I'm going to go lie down and save my game, save our progress, and I will continue the next time for this zombie let's play just one more month guys till new games can't wait uh but until then see you later peace thanks for watching everybody if you would please like and favorite the video it really helps my youtube channel grow also you can click the annotations on the screen to watch more videos of mine and finally if you're new to this channel please check out my video guide link in the description of this video basically it's a document that lists and organizes all my best content all in one nice neat place for you guys to peruse so you can watch the videos that you want to watch thank you for supporting me kidlot404 and the nintendo wii u